process of having babies left. You say something, you say no. Thanks for staying with us on The Hub. In Nigeria today, we're expecting two elections, Edo and Inondo states. Perhaps the biggest news uh, is coming from Edo state today. The crisis within the All Progressives Congress and the people therein is something that many people are worried about. And in fact, when the elections come, many people want to see what happens. No primaries yet. Aineka said that it would not change any date to accommodate any change uh, in the costs of conducting this election. And so we want to take a look at Edo politics and the crisis within the APC and possibly see how we can find a way out. I'm sure you also can be part of it in the course of the show. In the meantime, joining us is the assistant head of news, Silverbird News 24, Esh Momo Imudu. Good morning, Esh. Yeah, nice we to call be him here. Esh. Esh. Okay. I, I like it also. Esh. <laughs> you like the Esh, yeah? I like Esh, but my name is Esh Momo. Esh, Esh, Esh. Sounds like an exclamation. Uh, like when you Whatever. When you, when you prick someone, you go, Esh. Whatever. I agree with you. <laughs> 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 anyway, so um, the APC crisis is, um, it's been lingering now. We, a lot of us saw this coming. I mean, I must say we saw this coming when we saw the back and forth between Obasaki and um, um, the embattled chairman. Um, is he embattled now? Is he embattled chairman? Embattled Obaseki? Embattled Ashamole? You know, it's a, it's, 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 it's a sorry narrative for mm. those states. Well, you begin to wonder. And that is my state. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a sorry narrative for your state. Mm. Uh, <laughs> because one begins to wonder why. Someone once said that when history is quickly forgotten, there is a huge possibility of repeating it. Um, we, are seeing, we are seeing what is playing out right now. Just yesterday, uh, some people said three, three chairmen in APC in the last um, three hours. Uh, it was one Gyadom and then um, Ajumobi, and then, and then uh, Eta. Now we have um, Eta. Exactly what would you say could be the real issues here? Uh, why is Gyadom coming out uh, to claim chairmanship of the party when we all understand that there's a party constitution? and it has to be followed. Yeah, we all, uh, like you said, we all saw it coming, but it's uh, a crisis that if the party had uh, learned from history, they wouldn't have fallen prey to the traps on the ground. Same thing happened with, with the PDP in yeah. time past, and we thought that when APC came on board, they promised change, that a lot of things were going to change. But you and I have done seen over the last five years that a lot of things have not really changed in the APC and just close to an, uh, uh, a dual election. Even in, 20, in 2019 election, we had a series of crises that APC got itself involved in and we thought having gotten over that and going into a dual election, it's now a different learning curve for them to know that certain things shouldn't be done. But I also think that, yeah, like you said, Gerdom, there's a party constitution. Why is Gerdom coming in? I spoke with Gerdom yesterday. I called him, oh, and, nice. uh, and, and he said that he's acting on a high court ruling. Uh, the high court gave the ruling. You see, what I also, I'm not a lawyer, but what we've had lawyers say is that if a ruling is given by even a magistrate court and it is not vacated, it must be obeyed. Yeah, you might say, why is the, high, is the court getting involved in party affairs? The issue is that the, high, the court is the place for any aggrieved person. So the court must get involved in anything. Even in, your, in family affairs, if families are fighting and somebody goes to the court, the court doors are always open. Somebody once said that even a madman will go there. And if a madman gets an injunction from the court, he will, it will be acted upon until it is vacated. So I think that is the dilemma APC found itself. There's a party constitution and there's a high court ruling. Was it vacated? Mm. Ash, Ash, let's take a look at this because many people who watch Edo politics can be very, very worried at this point in time. That it would seem to be like APC, that the intra party challenges mm. seem to be playing out even more, although it's only the first time. But in this particular case, if the deputy national chairman has to fight to be in acting capacity, 
Whereas to unlearned people, like maybe you are not, you are not a lawyer, so we are unlearned people. <laughs> we are, we are we informed are, people. We are informed we're people. Informed. Would assume that when the deputy, if anybody is deputizing, is acting in a deputy capacity, should normally step into the shoes in acting capacity. And then many people are asking, although the, the, the constitution of APC is there for us to see, that uh, in, the, in the place where the national chairman cannot perform his duties by, by, what, by chance, that it should be uh, some the vice the deputy chairman. deputy that is deputy from the same zone, zone with the chairman or whoever, yeah. Okay. So why at this point in time, some people are of the opinion that maybe there could be some unforeseen issues behind the internal crisis within the APC, possibly to weaken them towards the other elections and even afterwards. Yeah, if you say uh, external forces uh, trying to weaken the APC, I won't sub subscribe to that. I think the forces are within the a APC yeah, weaken the enemy, themselves. Enemies within. Yeah, enemies within. Uh, yeah, and, and because the APC have refused to play the real politics, you see, I will still put everything at the doorstep of the president. Mm. He is the leader of the party. Whether we like it or not, you say it's okay that he keeps quiet. Did he keep quiet the last time Oshemole was suspended and, and they were almost going to have uh, a neck meeting? He intervened and asked the warring parties to shoot the sword. So we think we have a president that will also intervene. Sometimes he did intervene at that time and Oshemole came back because the president intervened. Well, the the president all the time. The, the, the party does have a constitution. If the if people themselves, there are some things that, morally speaking, that are supposed to be acceptable. There are some things that are expected of a party that's ruling yeah, that exactly. should I, not I agree, happen at all. I agree perfectly with you. There are some things that should not happen at all. But when the players take personal ambition above public interest, above party interest, that, and there is confusion. You see, APC is playing the game in such a way that they've forgotten that they're not just a political party, they're a ruling party. And whatever they do is an indictment on the, on the government in, in, in power. So whatever they do is an indictment. It shows your capacity to lead the country because your party produced the government. And if your party is embroiled in such crisis, what are you telling us? Is it that you are capable in leading the country? And I think that is where they need to watch, watch it very well. Now, Edo election, the crisis in Edo, do they have to go through that? How did it start? Because uh, some men were not, not properly, uh, uh, were not inaugurated, and some forces felt that this, this guy should be inaugurated, and others felt they should not be inaugurated. And I think it didn't just is that, is that really the, 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 the that bane of the, they, Is that really the bane That of was the what issue? they told us is the bane. But I don't want to believe that it's something deeper than that. Something must have That's happened before the, you know, before the exactly. lack of inauguration exactly. or no inauguration. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And I think the party have not really dealt with it very well. They have party machineries. The question is, what are the party machineries doing? Are the party machineries taking sides? Because if you are taking sides, I remember when they set up, I think they set up about three or four different reconciliation committees, committees yeah. that uh, Governor Baseki rejected. Now, if he's rejecting certain committees, then you ask the question, are you setting up a reconciliation committee that are partisan? Why is he rejecting? Then you should have, as at that time, the president should have inaugurated the committee and not say, okay, if A set up a committee, one, two, three, and somebody is rejecting, then you take that responsibility away which is that's a problem because whatever resolution they arrive at there's going to be crisis you see because you didn't deal with it when it started that is why you are having it and now you see by 27th is a deadline where your name the names of your candidates must get to INEC and what we're saying now is that I, APC is in a bigger crisis because whatever happens now whoever, who, who, whoever submits name whether it's Ajimobi or Giadom mm. or ETA that mm. submits name to INEC if eventually this case gets to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court rules that that person is not qualified to occupy that position, then the Zamfara case yeah, is there. Which yeah. means APC has no candidate in the election. And I think that is why they should sit back. It has no grandstanding. You're in a very difficult situation. Whoever presents list and the Supreme Court rules and say this person is not, just like nobody saw the judgment of the, uh, the appeal courts coming, that took that decision. Yeah. So you can really predict what will happen at the Supreme Court. What if the Supreme Court now rules and say X that you say is the acting, whether it's Giadom that eventually the, the powers that be favored, or it's uh, or it's Eta, because as it is, Adumo be seem to be out of the out of out, out of the equation. So so if the powers that be uh, uh, eventually present that person, and 
INEC will take the names, but what if the Supreme Court, and I think that is why I said the president will still need to intervene. How many days to the end? How many days? So you quickly need to save your party from a crisis. Now, look at it in the south-south zone. You have, I think, five, six states in the south-south zone. You have rivers, you have delta, you have cross river, you have Aquaibom, you have uh, delta, you have those six Biasa. states. Now, 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 you have, Biasa, Biasa. I think, six states. Yeah. Now, you have the PDP occupying every other state. It's only in Edo that you have the APC. Now, as we know, the governor of Edo State has resigned his membership of the party, which means at his stands today, APC has no governor in the South South. Now, you think it's a small deal. It's not a small deal. It's not a small deal for an entire geopolitical zone not to have a particular political party holding sway. It's not a small thing. And I think that is why the leaders in APC will need to call all the forces together. Okay. Because uh, Ash, let me come into this. You did say you spoke with uh, Giardom yesterday, uh, Madam Giardom yesterday, and can you relate to us other things that he told you that many people uh, do not know at this point in time? Because sometimes you just want to ask yourself, isn't party's interest supposed to supersede personal interest? Yeah, I asked Giardom, I said, as it is, the public are getting conflicting signals. Eta, you, Ajimobi, who is in charge? He said, I'm in charge. I said, how will you say I'm in charge? He said, I have a court judgment that says I should. So I'm acting on the court judgment. And, I'm, and, I'm, I, and I'm, I said, I'm, but... I'm also the, informed that the court judgment was circumstantial. There was a circumstance that gave rise to that, to that court judgment. And then uh, there is also a, a report that uh, that judgment does not hold square anymore, given to the fact that he had left the party to go contest. I, 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 think, I, think, I think the court judgment, you see, the issue of leaving the party to go contest, to the best of my knowledge, actually came into existence long before the court judgment. So if you are saying he had left, meanwhile he has been attending NWC meeting with you. You never said he's not a member of the NWC. Look at the list of those who, uh, who, 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 who attended the meeting yeah. and signed. His name is still there as a deputy National, National uh, Secretary, Secretary of the APC. His name is still there. So if you are saying he has left, he's not a member, and you're still putting his name there, then there's a problem. Then somebody's not telling the truth. So I asked him, I said, but you don't have the support of the NWC. NWC said it is Ajimobi, and you are saying you are the one. The, how soon are you going to call a meeting of the NWC? He said, very soon. OK, very soon. I don't I said, how soon? He said, very soon. But you see, what I'm saying is, the host, he's, he's claiming to have a court judgment. Yeah. But I think it is still what the court will need to intervene. Yeah. Now, between now and then, which court will throw away? Because you must vacate. You see, if there's a court judgment, what the lawyer has told us is if there's a court judgment, It'll even from a magistrate court, yeah. if it is not vacated, it must be enforced. You don't, inter you don't explain away a court judgment. There must be another judgment to set it aside. Mm. So have you set it aside? That is what they should tell us if it was set aside. Okay, let's look at the four men, or perhaps the three men at the center mm. of it all this time. Uh, we hear that uh, the supposed, the one that's supposed to be acting as we speak is slightly indisposed. That's former governor for your state, um, Abiola Ajimobi. There's even a so problem around, around his own ability to, not apart from being indisposed. The, another argument is that Oshomole, Comrade Oshomole uh, uh, brought him in with the national, acting national secretary. And by the reason of the appeal court that, uh, that yes, affirmed yes, the yes, judgment yes. of the high court, the high court had suspended Oshamole. Yes. So if the appeal court affirmed that judgment, which means what he inaugurated, he shouldn't have cheered that because what he only obtained was a stay of execution. It nullifies all, all activities, so, all so, decisions. So, so some other groups said, Probably that was why APC, the following day, quickly shifted and said, ETA is the one acting. Because the, that very night, they say it's Ajimobi. Maybe they now looked at, are we ready to battle this legal implication? Mm -hmm. Let us quickly move into ETA. So, so that's why I said, even APC, the NWC seems confused. Because the first release they gave us was that Ajimobi, of course you knew he wasn't disposed. Why didn't you put in that first release that this ETA will act on his behalf? So probably they went back and they were advised that if you stick on to Ajimobi, you're going to knock yourself. Because if they push the argument that Oshomole was under suspension, he, sh he shouldn't have been able to bring them in. You will knock yourself. That's why they brought in ETA the following morning. So who, why, why was it that they were in a hurry? 
to make a release that night? Why didn't they wait the following day, have a proper NWC meeting, and make a release? We would have just been saying maybe two, two candidates laying claim to it, not three. They did one in the night, and in the following day, around one, the 12 one, they bought it another one. So, so I think that's the confusion. But, but a dope, beyond that, a dope people don't deserve this. Mm. A do people are law-abiding people. As, as, a, as you as know, as we as are law-abiding people. people. Yes. We don't deserve this. Yeah. And I think APC should put their house in order. They are not the only political party. That is what they must understand also. It's an election that is open to all political parties. And you can't go into such battle with your house divided. You must be able to, to galvanize uh, all in, opinions. In and very clear terms, uh, Mr. Shomano, in very clear terms, what would you be thinking? What, what would you think the president can do at this point in time, in clear terms? Just one thing I think the president can do. He is the president and commander-in-chief. All secur security apparatus are at his beck and call. If the president tells the IG, take action, support so 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 enforce so 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 mm. that's the end because people well, brand a democratic people yeah, president now he's a democratic president yes, now. Democrat now you see nothing was it not the same democratic president that asked them to shit their sword and allow shamala to come back what i'm saying is somebody must Presumably, ask you may bleed no who, no who somebody you say you say he said, we should, he, he, I, I don't think uh, some people will say okay he should he's a democratic president but beyond that if your party is in crisis, if your party is in crisis, yeah. if, they, if they set fire on the mountain and you are still eating biscuits inside the bedroom, hmm. very soon the fire will catch up. Yeah. All right. Do, do you, what do you know about uh, the person of Hilliard Eta? Anything you know about him? I, I don't think I've heard so much about him until, until this issue came up and his name was thrown up. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I've, not, I've not heard so much about him. But beyond that, yeah. Maybe because he's from the South South. He's also from the South South. That is why you see everybody laying claim are from the South South the, the, region. Okay, the, the South South, South, South region. region. Ajimobi South South is not South South. Yes. These other two are from the South South. And because Edo, the epicenter of this crisis, is in the South South, I think that is why they're pushing up this other stuff. So it will now be an argument that we are all South South. You know, so, a, a show of, there, there is there is so so much we can discuss. Yeah. We can talk about um, Edo politics and uh, the crisis uh, uh, facing the All Progressives Congress. Unfortunately, we don't have that much time. Maybe in our next segment we'll be looking at that. Uh, but unfortunately, we have to take this break uh, for our next segment. Shoma, so, thank you for your time with us on the My show. Pleasure, coming. Pleasure. Yeah. We we'll always call on you whenever we need you. Thank so you so we'll much. take a break and we'll come back. Our conversations will continue. Don't go away. Say something, you say no.